Now to shocking video. It shows the moments after a group of teenagers try to dine and dash and end up taking one of the restaurant's employees on a traumatizing ride. Now before the breaking news, Bree Buckley spoke to that employee about that scary situation. Like I really felt like I was about to die, you know? It was, it was the most traumatic thing I've ever been through in my entire life. This is Kayla Sherman hanging onto the hood of this white BMW, driving recklessly through the Willoughby Commons shopping plaza Sunday night around 9.30. She's a bartender at the Buffalo Wild Wings there and was trying to help her manager stop a group of teenage girls that took off without paying. 911, where's your emergency? Will be Buffalo Wild Wings. I have a person trying to dine and dash on me, and they're currently hitting one of my employees. She was standing in front of the car when they drove off, taking her and their server with them. So then they just put it in drive and took off, and I was still in front of it. So I was on top of it, and then they just started driving like crazy. My employee is currently on their car. They're driving recklessly. My employee's in danger. Okay, tell your employee to get off the vehicle and just get off the it. car, Kayla. She can't. They're driving fast. The other employee fell off in the parking lot before they sped out of the plaza to Euclid Avenue with Kayla still on the hood. She says they were weaving in and out of traffic, turning the windshield wipers on, trying to get her to fall off. Police say they were going at least 50 miles an hour at one point. They had no regard for my life whatsoever. And they were like just like laughing through it all, talking like like nothing was happening, like I wasn't, you know, terrified for my life at all. Police weren't too far behind. All right, I shut down the lights. Hopefully, it'll slow down. I thought the cops, like, thought that they lost them because I couldn't see the lights. So I was like, in my mind, like, you're going to die. Like, just preparing myself, like something bad is really going to happen. They slowed down, turned onto a side street where Kayla was able to hop off, shaken by the whole incident, before police caught up to the car. Now she's sending a message to teenagers and their parents. How are these kids able to act like this? Like, you hear about these young kids doing these crazy things all the time. It's like, you have to teach your kids, like, right from wrong. And that was Bree Buckley reporting all three teenage girls were taken into custody. One had been reported missing out of Cleveland. The police report shows they also found marijuana in that car as well.